When we worship, we use all of our senses. It's intended to give us a sense of the divine, to lift our heart, our soul, and spirit to God in praise and worship. My name is Father Timothy Clunk. I'm a priest of the Archdiocese. I've been ordained for 35 years. I've had the, the opportunity through the Archdiocese to uh, attend the Maryland Institute College of Art when I was younger, some 20 years ago. Uh, I am pastor here at Our Lady of Victory. When we view a, a work of art, we have a connection then with that artist and the image. And it, it's a dynamic reality, it, it, it's a relationship. When we enter into that relationship, it does transform us. It transforms our reality. And that has to be of God, because it lifts us and carries us. The logo and the motto together provide a fitting summary of what the Jubilee year is all about. The motto, merciful like the Father, taken from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 6, verse 36 serves as an invitation to follow the merciful example of the Father who asks of us not to judge or condemn, but to forgive and to give love and forgiveness without measure. The logo, the work of Jesuit Father Marco I. Rupnik, represents a small Summa Theologiae of the theme of mercy. In fact, it represents an image quite important to the early church, that of the Son having taken upon his shoulders the lost soul, demonstrating that it is the love of Christ that brings to completion the mystery of his incarnation, culminating in redemption. The logo has been designed in such a way as to express the profound way in which the Good Shepherd touches the flesh of humanity and does so with a love, with the power to change one's life. One particular feature worthy of note is that while the Good Shepherd, in his great mercy, takes humanity upon himself, his eyes are merged with those of man. Christ sees with the eyes of Adam, and Adam with the eyes of Christ. Every person discovers in Christ the new Adam, one's own humanity, and the future that lies ahead, contemplating in his gaze, the love of the Father. The scene is captured within the so-called mandorla, the shape of an almond, a figure quite important in early and medieval iconography. For it calls to mind the two natures of Christ, divine and human. The three concentric ovals, with colors progressively lighter as we move outward, suggests the movement of Christ, who carries humanity out of the night of sin and death. Conversely, the depth of the darker color suggests the impenetrability of the love of the Father, who forgives all.